hi, hello, and howdy. It's me, Mushy, and you're, well, you're you. Hello, you. And we're here at Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting with a post-reviewing kit down for our second canvas entry in the Wings and Things event hosted by Diamond Crafts by Eileen here on YouTube. Go check her channel out, show her some love, and see what everybody's been up to this April in Wings and Things. But now it's time to review this and get it kitted down and move on to the next big thing. So come on, let's talk about this canvas. All right, and I'm sorry this is kind of oriented sideways, you guys. Um, it's just so long that I couldn't really get it in frame. But um, let's, if you want to see it oriented right, I, I can accommodate you, sort of. <laughs> we can kind of do a... A slow roll. Dun, 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 dun. I'll insert a picture of what it looks like. Um, but there, there it is, long ways. I'll insert a picture of what it looks like, right side up, oriented right, so you don't have to like turn your head, lay, lay down sideways to see what we're looking at here. Um, but yes, let's talk about it. Vital stats. Okay, so in the Gemflow app where I track the inventory of my canvases, both done and undone and, and whips, uh, I have this marked as SK6. That indicates to me that this was skull category, number six diamond painting within that category. I named this Rose Romantic Skull, and I'll talk about why in the pros and cons. Uh, the serial number was S. 0620 and this was diamond painting number 242 in my personal stash this is a 40 by 70 which is a 16 by 28 inch diamond painting canvas I did obtain it from Timu for ten dollars and 98 cents round drills no specials in this one uh, unfortunately, at the time I got this was well before I started my channel, and I did not keep as detailed records as I do now, and so I cannot tell you when I ordered this or, and when it was received, like how long it took to get to me. All I can tell you, though, is based on the number 242, so I'm going to guess that this probably was ordered about a year ago. Um... I did spend 60 hours and 32 minutes. It's an approximation, but it's that's generally how long I spent on this canvas. And my personal rating is 3.75 stars. And let's talk about the pros and cons and why it's 3.75 stars. Okay, so we're going to start with the cons. We're going to make this a little bit, you know, get the negative out of the way so we can end on a positive note cons. On the canvas itself and on the legend, the B and the R were both capital. They were both very similar looking letters on the canvas with similar colored backgrounds. So I was frequently really having to be careful, catching myself maybe misplacing or making a mistake, um, mistaking a B for an R or an R for a B. So extreme caution had to be used when dealing with those and those letters were often like really clustered together because they were such similar colors that was pretty problematic for me the lowercase t looked like an i or a one it didn't really look like a lowercase t it just kind of looked like a like an i it was just like a line a stick um it didn't look like what it did on the legend, which was a T with a little tail and a little cross. It was very hard to distinguish, but I quickly realized it's, it had to be a lowercase T because there was nothing else on the legend that resembled a, a straight stick like that. So um, the lowercase E was also a problem on this canvas. It was very washed out and very fuzzy. It was very hard to discern that was another one that I had to kind of look at, you know, my kit, look at the legend, look at the stickers and be like, it can't be any of the, it was like a process of elimination to determine what the E 
was because it was so illegible on the canvas itself. Um, the sash here and why I called this a rose romantic was obviously there are roses in here and skull, so rose skull, but why romantic? Well, this sash here in the concept art, the thumbnail and the art, you know, like on the, the website when I ordered, this is supposed to say romantic. And under the drills on the blank canvas, you can make out the word romantic, at least most of it. You can see romance, you know, kind of romance, and it drifts off into a little bit of being illegible. But when completed, even at a distance, you cannot make out the word romantic here, unfortunately. I did pull up the drills just to make sure, you know, did I place the right drills in the right spots? And yes, this is how it was charted right here. And unfortunately, the word did not render at all. And I'm pretty kind of disappointed, but also kind of expected it because, you know, of the size of the sash, the size of the word, round drills, the size of the canvas. I saw it coming, but it's disappointing nonetheless. Um, and then there, the final con is there are a couple like random pixels in here that just, I double checked them to make sure it's how it was charted as well. And it was, and it, but they just kind of irk me up here in this slash. There's like a gray, a dark gray here and a dark gray here. I don't know if you can, you know, pick it up you know, in the camera as well, but like right here, I'm looking in this red patch, there's gray, gray. I pulled those up and it is charted that way. There's like a random gray right here where I think maybe it should have been this bone color, um, but I pulled it up and, and that's the way they charted it. So I kind of just left the random pixels as it was charted so you could see what it looked like. Uh, here in the nose hole, there's a maroon and a dark gray. I think those should have been black. Uh, right here is a maroon in with the mauve. I think that should have been a mauve. So there are some random pixels, but when you take the image and step back and look at it from a, you know, a normal viewing distance, those fade away, those individual pixels that are kind of sneezed on here, they fade away and the image is coherent and cohesive. But um, I'm persnickety, so I, I notice things like those pixels and then I focus and can't draw my eye. It's kind of like you uh, pass an accident and you don't want to look and gawk, but like you can't not look. It's like one of those things. I don't want to see it, but I can't not now that I know it's there. Um, positives. The overall image is clear. You can clearly see there are some devil horns, I guess, right here. Uh, they, they seem like devil horns, what I imagine a devil horn. It's curved horns coming out of the skull here. You can clearly see the roses defined throughout. Their wings are right here, which is why it applied to the Wings and Things event, because um, it's a thing with some wings. Um, you can see the, you know, slash, red slash marks back here. You can obviously the, see this is a skull. You can see the teeth and the jaw here. You can tell there's a couple of teeth missing right here. Um, you can see like these tendrils of, I don't know, is this mist, smoke maybe? I'm not sure what, what these are coming out of the eyes, but you can clearly see that there's like some kind of foggy, misty thing. You can see the injury to the skull where the rose is busting out of the skull cavity. It's clear. You can see, you can make it out. You can see what we're looking at. So uh, I was happy with that. Um, very happy in particular with the details. I was very scared because some of you uh, may know, especially you guys who do a lot of um, floral diamond paintings or diamond paintings with floral accents. It is so hard to find a diamond painting where it has flowers and the flowers actually come out looking like well-defined flowers. And to me, I can clearly see the definition in the rose. It's not just a blob of red. There are shades and dimensions and depth to the roses and you can tell what they are. You can tell they are flowers. You can tell that it is a rose specifically. And uh, 
I was pleasantly surprised by that. I mean, these roses, they scared me. The wings, you can obviously see the feather lines. You can tell that they're wings. Um, that made me nervous too, because all too many times you will have something with more detail like this, like with feathers or flowers with their petals, and you can't tell. It looks kind of all blended together and murky, but the, this, you know, the details did come out. You can clearly see the horns and that they curve. Uh, you can see that there's a sash here. Like I said, overall, the details did come out in the overall picture very well. Um, and the last thing I had was flowers, but we already talked about that. So yeah, I mean, I was really impressed with how well the roses turned out. Uh, that's really all I had. I didn't have any special notes aside from, um, as a side note, this particular canvas was picked out by Mr. RG Sundown. He does really like skulls and whereas skulls, I do like them. Don't get me wrong. Otherwise I wouldn't do these diamond paintings, but it's not like my favorite, favorite thing. It's, it's on the favorites list. It's just not at the top. Um, but he picked this, he loves this. And so of course, um, it applied to the event. So I was willing to do it for him and he is very pleased with it. All right, you guys, that's it for the Rose Romantic Skull. What do you think? How do you think this canvas turned out? Does this inspire you to, you know, maybe investigate some skull art. I mean, this does have elegance. You get elegance with the rose and the silk sash. You get some beauty and elegance with the wings, but you also have the darker elements with the horns and the red slashes. And you do get a little creep factor because it is a skull. Um, it, it merges. You guys know me. I love these canvases that merge like beauty and elegance uh, with the macabre and it, this one is yet another one that does it very well um what do you think though do you like it all right well that concludes our canvas review and um kind of we're nearing the end of the month and I really don't think I have time to do a whole other canvas with what time we have left in April so this is concluding our channel's participation in I, uh, Diamond Craft by Eileen's Wings and Things. This was our second entry, so we did two for the event. Yay! Um, and thank you, Eileen, for indulging me in my dark side and letting me come into your uh, peppy house with my, my gore. I appreciate it. Uh, and with that, we move on to the kit down. Yay! All right, you guys, you know when you see all this business here, what time it is. It is time for de-kitting, and de-kitting we shall. I wanted to quickly go over with you guys the tools of the trade that I did use during my diamond painting. I did use this Deadly Kiss pen from Patriotic Team over at patrioticteam.net. You can also find them on TikTok, and I used Alien Putty. Um, this is the boulder version which is the hard dry gray and uh there is a blue sample in here too but to be honest i mostly used mystery which is the black and red version of this but i didn't have it handy so i'm showing you another version of alien putty just now i used alien putty and here's what one example of alien putty looks like although it's not but it is in my pen exactly formula wise okay and then i did use my ephemera 3d which I they just released a whole bunch of these new model trays. Oh, Wolfman's gonna get mad. <laughs> He's not gonna get mad, mad, but uh, I believe it was called the Six Inch Deep. Uh, <laughs> um, if I got the name wrong, I'm sorry, but uh, the Six Inch Deep, uh, Ephemera 3D new model of tray. It does not have a storage component like the totem does. This is just a straight up daily use tray. Same size as the totem essentially, but uh, minus the storage component for those of you who just want uh, a tray with a built-in pour spout that works with any and all current diamond painting containers on the market. So I have tested that. I can say that with confidence and yeah. Um, the, then I use the classify modular 
uh, drill storage system modeled after the Elizabeth Ward. So these are Elizabeth Ward style containers. We're gonna ignore this side. This is my current uh, whip that I did for my me day. I'm still finishing it up, so that's what's over here. We just need to de-kit what's over here. I did use a Xyron sticker maker, um, little, now you can't call it a machine, but a machine uh, to make my own homemade handwritten stickers because it did not come with a legend and I couldn't get a picture to print the, the table right. So, all right, we got our boat of safety. We got our boat of potential pouring should we need it. And let's get into it. So, okay, whew, that was a lot. But I wanted to make sure you guys have all the informations. All of them. Um, I see 310. So let's just go ahead and um, 310 it up here. I'm probably not going to be able to fit all these 310s in here. But let's try. Let's see what happens. Probably my first big spill of the video. <laughs> How is everybody doing today? Today is... It's a day, it's some day, I don't know exactly. Yeah, I need a boat of pouring. It's it's a day, I think it's Thursday, April something, something, uh, 20 something. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> they all bleed together to me, you guys. I cannot, I cannot track time. This is just a really bad idea and please don't ever attempt this because Unless you're really careful or steady handed, um, then even then, bad idea. <laughs> I, oh, you know what? I'll be right back. I have a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of 310s, so we're going to um, add some to our little bulb project. Just a little bit here and there, I think. This is mostly like a maroon and burgundy situation. I think, um, I think I want to add some, I think I want to add a little bit of black in here, see how it looks. Could this be a mistake? Yeah, could. Is it probably? Yeah, knowing me, probably. But we're gonna, we're gonna check it out. I, you know, me, I like these dark, dark, gloomy colors so the only thing I don't like about these is these thin little sketchy tin reshapable tops like this this part here I keep accidentally pinching it and making it harder to put back on Oop, something fell out okay well that didn't turn out bad I think it complemented it fairly well what do you think um, and of course we do have the black, white, and gray, which I have a feeling we're going to be adding some more white and gray to this. So I might as well just go ahead and add the remaining extraneous black into here because it will balance out when we, as we go through the kit down. So I'm just going to, I'm not even going to be bothered to put the lid back on because I know we're going to dig back into that. And, um... I don't know. I I have this pink one going on, but I really feel like I can't handle it. <laughs> I, can't. I was going to try to be good and leave it alone uh, and let it be, live its best pink life, but um, I can't stand looking <laughs> at it. <laughs> so we're going to add a little, a little black in there. A lot. There we go. That's so much better. This, it does it is it a hundred percent better no but it's that it's it's just that much more better <laughs> sorry pink oops made a mess if that makes you feel better there was the small spill that we start the videos with um <laughs> this seems to be the pattern uh, so um we have the whole rest of the kit down to get to the big spill but there um i don't believe we have any more pinks in this kit down so we can go ahead and oh you know what we do have like those red and rose I better leave this out just in case just in case folks okay um ah what am I doing with my life I don't know so let's see where did I need to get my stuff together you guys <laughs> pull my head out of my bootamus 
and um, get with the program. So yes, uh, wings and things. Did we have fun? We did, we did. This is like a rose color. Would it go in with the, this might need a, a situation of its own. It might. Let's see what we have left over. What was this? 150? Oh, not too much. We don't, I don't, I don't want to cheat myself. I do know that I will be needing um, extra drills of varying colors. I believe that I may be testing out some um, diamond painting kits from a company that's trying to get up and started and wanted me to take a look at them and work them up and see what there is to see. So let's see, we got a 304. I want to conserve some of these drills, not mix them up in the, in the bulbs uh, in case I need them for that. So we'll just do the extra, extra overflow for now. Ah, oh my gosh. Okay. I can see what kind of day it's going to be. If, you guys may or may not be able to hear it in the background. The peacock is peacocking. So, no, somebody isn't screaming and for help. It's a peacock. Uh, there is still cockadoodle doo, but it should be a lot less offensive now because the main cockadoodle doo offender has been rehomed to our friend Fluffy down the street. Um, goodbye, you noisy video interrupting buffoon. <laughs> the mean one he was the he was a mean one he beat uh, Leah up all the time yep he beat Leah up all the time she was not happy <laughs> she was well she was happy to see him go she wasn't happy getting beat up <laughs> by a rooster <laughs> um so yeah that mean mug is is rehomed down the street and has a bunch of new hens to make little eggs with <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so did everybody, I know a lot of you participated in wings and things. Did everybody get their canvases finished? Or is it going to be a whip that you're going to carry over? There's no wrong answer. I'm just curious, you know, uh, how we did. Um, from what I saw, it was an amazing turnout to the event. Yay, Eileen. Who knew? That there would be so many wingses and thingses fl fluttering about out there. I saw all kinds of different interesting and beautiful and just all kinds of canvases. We saw weird, creepy, interesting, um, magical, beautiful, natural. We saw all kinds of wings and things. Um, so that was fun seeing what everybody brought to the table. Eileen was doing a fantastic job hosting, making sure we were all updated weekly with the whip parade and, uh, you know, completion whip, whatever, oh, whatever. I'm not, listen, I'm not an event professional. I don't know the technical terms for everything. Oh, here's a, no, that's one of those blue grays. I don't want to, I don't want to muck up my white, black, and gray bulb with a blue gray. So, but yeah, uh, fantastic. Thank you guys uh, for those of you who are watching and participated in the event with us. Um, yeah, thanks for coming to the event with me and participating. You know, um, it was fun. It was fun. It was fun. And uh, we're coming up on uh, May, which will be Crafty Chef's Celebration and Paint with Friends event. So there's that to look forward to. Have you picked out your, you know, are, are you participating in that event, first of all? And if so, have you picked your canvas yet? Or, like, what's the, what's the 411? What are the details on that? Are we, are we ready for that? 315, ready to jump into another canvas and event and um, celebration. What will you be celebrating during the celebration event? And, you know, inquiring minds want to know. I, I'm going to try my darndest. I do uh, have some canvases picked out um, that, that I think could apply to the event. But I am kind of, I've got my, 
I got behind. Let's just not mince words here. I got behind in my plan, my master, my master plan. Um, we had some unexpected, some expected, but also some unexpected travel and, um, you know, life, life things, the kind that make you go, ugh, those kind of things, uh, this, that, and, um, unpredictable BSery, if you will, <laughs> that kind of took me off guard, got me a little bit behind, and, what I had wanted to accomplish and so I am I am behind schedule in terms of what I had planned for myself and what project okay what projects I was gonna work on so this says 413 but this is obviously a gray this says 413 and this is obviously like a taupe so uh, the sticker looks taupey <sighs> So what happened here? You know what? You know what's going to happen here? This is going to go. I, I'm not messing around. I'm not messing around with you. Drills and yeah, grays are going to go in here. We need some more grays in here. Boink. There we go. Problem solved. And we're going to put, because I, I know the sticker isn't always like super accurate and representative of the color that is indicated by the DMC. But a lot of times, oh, what am I doing? A lot of times it's really close, you know? So it's close enough to brown and far enough from gray for me to feel comfortable switching it to this taupe. Yep, there we go. We'll find out sometime in the future whether that was the right decision or the wrong one. Here's another, this is a light gray 415, which if I have, I barely have any. So... As, well, I kind of really, as much as I want to put it into, I'm gonna, cause if, if I need drills for, you know, extra things that I might work on, um, I know where to get them. So, uh, you can order drills online if you were not aware. There's like a bunch of, not a bunch, a bunch, but there are some companies out there, DP with sparklers, I like to patronize frequently not in a bad way but like patronize like shop frequently um so there there's them and then there's like i think diamond drills usa or some something like that i i get the names messed up 451 um you can get you can even get drills off see now look at this one 451 is obviously a brown but this 451 is a dark gray what is happening here What is, unless I miswrote it and it was supposed to be, no, I don't know what's happening here, but um, this is going to get added to, to the, this situation here. I, I just, like I said, I can't be bothered to, to suss out. We don't got time for this. Nobody got time for this. <laughs> um, there's a lot of. A lot of different places you can get drills off of Timu, uh, AliExpress, 414. Um, lots, they, you know, and they're relatively inexpensive, so you know, bonus. If I need to order some, I will, but I should be all right. All right. Um, it's raining out, so I'm a little symptomy. I apologize. A little slow, a little foggy, muddy brained, a little shaky, such as life, right? Um, I hope the weather's better for you wherever you are. 453. Is it raining for you too? I think this is, um, I'm going to guess it's probably raining for Jack from Diamond Painting with Jack because uh, she lives close and. Um, Corinne Subby, it's probably raining for you because you're just, you know, over yonder here and over to the west of me. So, um, well, maybe not. I think it looked like it was coming from the north, the northwest, not to be confused with northeast. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> uh, you, you tier three members, get your mind out of the gutter. Um, but it's coming from the northwest, so I think 
You're probably good, Corinne. Uh, 350. It might be floating above you, but uh, I think Diamond Painting with Jack's fair game for the storm, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll see when she does her video. If she does a video today, when she does her videos, she gives us a weather update, which is pretty cool. I like to know what's going on in in the in the other parts of the the country and the world. All right. So just kitten on down, buzzing through this. Uh, the next project I'm going to be kidding up and working on is the one uh, I promised to do, which is going to be that ghost girl going through the um, jack-o'-lantern forest. 452. Four numbers hard. Yes, here we go. 452. It uh, It's a little on the cutesy side for me, but it is a new to me company and it is a, an AB kit, so I'm interested. And from what I recall, when I reviewed it, it looks like the ABs are placed in a manner that makes sense on the canvas uh, and emphasizes the girl and her glowy uh, spectral nature. So I am interested in seeing if it, if it does pan out that way, if I was, I don't mean to sound all, you know, if I was right, but you know, I wanna see, was I right? <laughs> You know, um, I don't know what's happening here. I, th I think I already emptied this one, but some stragglers got left behind is my best guess because I know I didn't run out of, or nearly run out of drills like this. You know, there was no shortage of drill situation. Uh, let's just get those in there. And yes, you oh, dropped one. You probably saw I had a bunch of drills in the bottom of this kit. I know, I need to clean my kits. Don't judge me, don't judge me. I, I know, if you take a look at some of your kits, I bet you find drills hanging out where they don't belong. Let's see, um, do I have anything under, yeah. Here's a 535, I need that. 535, here we go. Um, but yeah, I'm interested. What's your, what's your current whip? What's your next project? Do you have a plan? Uh, have you guys seen or heard? I put it on the community page and on the Facebook group page. We are gonna we're gonna put one of my birthday gifts to good use. We're gonna have us a good old fast food, food food, crazy food um, diamond painting event in June. I did just before anybody thinks or says anything, in case you missed it in this part too, I did reach out to True Vampire Crafts, another diamond, sorry, uh, this is really hard and hurts my thumbs. Okay, another diamond painting channel creator here on the Tubus of Ubis, and she is the official host for the official Paint Along with Friends community event for June. And her theme was, uh, is animals, is what it's gonna be. And I realized that the calendar is all booked up for the year and next year, if I, if I understood correctly. And, but I really, you know, I really wanted to do this and I thought, well, let me reach out to her and see, because like fast food, a lot of it's cheeseburgers and, chicken or crazy food some of i've seen some diamond paintings that have like um cats <laughs> as the burger meat like with a cat face i don't know it's like a, a squished cat in between buns i don't know there's some weird ones out there but there you know i've seen some that are animals li literal animals um and also you know food cooked animals in some cases 762. So I reached out to her and I said, Hey, I'm not, you know, I don't want to take anything away from your event. Cause I don't, uh, she, she got her, put her bid in, you know, threw her hat in the ring in a timely manner. And, you know, she got her name on the, on the calendar and she is the, the owner of, of June. And I respect that. Um, wholeheartedly I respect that but I I was like but hey um 
you know, I, I really want to do this event. I've had some subbies ask me, can we please do a crazy food event or a food, you know, a food in general event after Eileen, after Eileen had mentioned fried chicken and turkey dinners in her wings and things. It's a whole thing guys. Um, it's a whole thing. Um, you know, but I said, you know, my, some of my subbies got really inspired <laughs> to, and, and started searching for um, six, 640 numbers hard, 646. That's a six, a four and a six mush. Did, did I, oh, come on. All right, here we go. Found it over here. But yeah, um, I was like some of my subbies just really got tickled and inspired and you know interested in some of these diamond paintings um anyway i did reach out to um true vampire crafts who is the host of the official june event for paint along with friends and I said, hey, I don't want to step on any toes. I don't want to overshadow or, or infringe on your event. I don't want to take away from it. But um, we want to do a food thing. And I think if you're open to it, um, a lot of food is animal-based. And I was wondering if you would be open to, I, you know, I'm, I was like, I don't know what you, what you have in mind for animals. If you're open to, like, are you looking for just the cute and fluffy animals or like, can it be real animals, fake animals, like griffins or something, you know, or dragons? Would that be an animal or like, I don't know, food? <laughs> um... I, I wasn't really sure what she had envisioned for her event of animals. And so I reached out. I'm taking really too long to tell this story. It's very simple. <laughs> it's not this complicated. I reached out to her and asked her about all that. And I said, listen, all you got to do is say the word, girl. You say the word. If you say, um, had something else in mind, mush, uh, and food items were not what I had in mind for animals. Um, it, your, your situation would not also count for my situation. If she would have said that, then that would have been, okay, I'll find a different, you know, a different month or we'll, we'll work it in somewhere, somehow, some else. But she said, no, you know, Hey, I will, I, you know, food, some food was animal based. And, uh, therefore, you know, I'm cool with that. And I'm like, so it'll count dual countage, you know, cause I, I was really concerned. I really, really didn't want to step on toes. I really didn't want to infringe on her event. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that she was open to allowing <laughs> altered animals, if you will. And the, f does that go? Yeah. There's two colors mixed in here. That's crazy. Okay. Three now. There's uh, three different 814s right here, folks. Yay. Um, And she said she was fine with it. And I said, if you're, are you sure that you're sure? Because there's no wrong answer here. You know, this is your month. And if what I, you know, am proposing that, that perhaps food canvases and, and food in some meat form, um, you know, is not what you had in mind or wanted for your event just say the word girl just say it and I you know I'm not gonna get upset or mad or throw a hissy fit or anything it's I'm just asking I'm just being trying to be respectful and ask and she's like no really it's okay so um I'm paraphrasing by the way so no quotes here you know did I say exactly what I just said probably not did she say exactly what she just what I just said she said probably not paraphrasing but the moral of the story is I did ask, I did confirm with the official event um, host for June, whether or not it was okay that we bring our twisted, <laughs> twisted sense of humor to June. And if it would in fact count, and I wanted to make sure it would not infringe upon her rights as the host of June and her ideas for what she wanted for her animal theme. 
I just want to make sure it was okay. And she said yes. And I said, if you change your mind, just let me know. And I have not heard of a mind changing. So um, as far as I know, we are, everyone is in harmony. Everything is harmonic. So you can, if you choose to, you don't have to pick one or the other is what I'm trying to say. You don't have to pick whether you do animals in June for true vampire crafts or if you come and do food with mushy in June. Um, you can do both and they will count for both as long as, you know, your food is a meat product. Yeah? Make sense? Okay. That was a whole bunch of words for, yeah, way too many words for what the message was. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, well, have we met? I mean, did you expect anything less than verbal, like word vomit? That's basically what I just did to you. I word vomited a situation at you and I'm sorry. <laughs> it is what it is. So we are almost done kidding down. We've only got like four more colors, you guys. Yay. Haven't run into any big problems. I'm still waiting for that super huge spill. Maybe we won't have one. Maybe I have broken the curse somehow. Uh, maybe. Or maybe it'll happen after I stop recording. <laughs> um, if it does, you'll probably hear a very large amount and loud. Oh, there it is. There, no, there it's not. 3740. I was misreading numbers. Ah, no. Here I thought we had a little, a little container drama. No container drama here. Oh, exhaustion. Boy, anniversary, second first anniversary. And well, I guess I could say it now because it's already like out there and stuff, my birthday. Um, I'll let you decide. I'm either 25 or 45. Uh, you take from it what you will. I don't care if you, uh, you know, how old you think I am. Maybe I'm somewhere in between. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Uh, ah, gosh. Um, I can tell you I often get mistaken for my daughter's sister and or friend. Uh, quite often, which, <laughs> yay me. <laughs> Go me. My grandmother was very youthful. Uh, I think it's in the genes. My my grandmother looked very much younger than her age, even in her advanced years. And um, my father. And then Sundown also. <laughs> he gets carded all the time. Um, 37. And he does look. He gets mistaken for her brother or her boy. You know, our daughter's brother or boyfriend all the time as well. <laughs> Uh, I got mistaken for Sundown's daughter, though. <laughs> I keep forgetting to tease him about it. I want to. I mean to. I just keep forgetting to. Um, yeah, I need a new home for some of these grays. I'm wondering. There's too many. There's too many. Would it go kind of with this? I think it will. I think I'm gonna. Um, <laughs> yes, I did. Don't even try to deny it. If you watch the sundown, don't. You know you were there. It was that guy um, at the Motel 6 with the, with the little dog that kept running away. And he briefly mistook me for your daughter, and you know it. <laughs> but otherwise, uh, people at Leah's work and stuff often mistake him for her, her boyfriend and stuff because he looks so young. And he often gets mistaken as not old enough to be buying, like, vapes or um, alcohol and stuff. You guys, he's 49. <laughs> he gets mistaken for for a younger person. I, I attribute a lot of that also to not only good genes, but the way he dresses. He dresses very much like a young person. And so do I. We kind of, we're hip. We stay hip with the fashion. Uh, am I in crop tops and, like booty shorts is that even a, a fashion anymore <laughs> it's at the 90s i'm stuck in the 90s um but hey you know what the 90s style at least last year was like coming back i remember the gap had a whole 90s era um clothing line that they were releasing all year long uh and i know this to be true because um yeah i bought a bunch of it uh, the 90s is when i was a teen and I liked those, you know, 
um, baggy, baggy loose legged jeans and whatever, like when Jean Co was a was a big popular thing and skater kind of skater clothes or um gosh darn it i can't i don't want to get in trouble uh rock not rocker what's a smaller version like uh, not pebbler but uh stone that kind stone dot 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 er clothes <laughs> those kind of clothes goth was real big when i was a teen goth clothes uh did go through that phase that was an interesting one um okay all right you guys on that note we are done kidding up the rest is a mess for me to clean up not for you i won't make you stick around for that thanks for hanging out with me and we will see you in the next video stay naughty mm -hmm.